In just about two and a half hours, the San Diego State men's basketball team will take on Utah State in the Mountain West Conference Tournament semifinals. Oh boy, it was an exciting nail biting finish yesterday as the team beat UNLV in overtime. CBSH John Howard live in Vegas right now where he has been talking with some of the Aztec fans. Hey, John. Hey, Heather, thank you very much. And uh, you and I being alums, obviously, are big San Diego State fans, and it was an amazing atmosphere. It's amazing how quiet it is in an empty arena now and how much energy there was last night for the Aztec to survive. That overtime thriller was awesome. We had a chance to talk to the fans about last night's game and their optimism for tonight's game against Utah State. It was hard fought to the end. We didn't expect overtime, but we missed a couple of free throws. But you know what? The Aztec prevailed. And we're like, just like stoked. It's always very tense when they play. You know, yeah. drives you a little crazy. It drives me a little crazy. Amazing game. I have no voice. Have you been yelling too much? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. It was a tight game, and my heart fluttered quite a bit. I thought I was going to pass out a few times, but like the Aztecs do, they always win in the end. How optimistic are you for a win against Utah State? Uh, bring it on, man. Those Utah State people, we'll bring it on. It'll be a good atmosphere tomorrow night, though, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it's a wonderful game. You optimistic? Yeah, I am. Go Aztecs, we got this. Uh, some three-point shots would be nice. But I believe we're probably going to win. I believe we're going to win. <laughs> we're gathering a story not not on the Lobos, but on how the San Diego State Aztecs are going to do. What are your thoughts about the Aztecs? Uh, I think they're going to do fine until we meet up with them, and then we're going to take care of business. Oh! Hey, hey, oh! hey, Ladia's fine and everything, but he's going down. <laughs> You know, I thought it was pretty good. We talked to a couple of different fans from opposing schools, and they were quite respectful to the Aztecs, which is pretty cool. And one knowledgeable uh, fan there, knowing that uh, Ladie played for San Diego State. Uh, now, Heather, I promised you yesterday, I uh, ran into Elvis and promised that I would show you my uh, interaction with Elvis Presley, or one of many that you might come across here in Las Vegas, and uh, chatted with him about everything from uh, engagements and w weddings to uh, the prediction for the Aztecs in this tournament. What's the toughest thing about being an Elvis impersonator? I suppose it's uh, all the fans. You know, you gotta, you gotta stay, stay a distance. Otherwise, you know, you find yourself in trouble, baby. <laughs> the San Diego State Aztecs. How are they gonna do in the Mountain West Conference tournament? Oh, uh, they're gonna win. And how do you greet the fans? It's Usually, when I greet people, I do it like I did with you just now. I go, "Hey there." Uh, just because it's a universal greeting. But of course, what people like to hear is. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, always a good time here in Las Vegas. Uh, by the way, Carlo and Heather, before I throw it back to you, uh, the Aztecs opened this morning as a three and a half point favorite, now a five point favorite going into tonight's game. 630 tip on CBS Sports Network. Uh, John, I have to ask you, though, how was your blood pressure during the game last night? I almost wish you had been wearing a monitor. Oh, geez. Yeah, that would be some good stuff to put on social media. It's just ridiculous. The first half was so ugly. Both teams couldn't shoot a pee in the ocean, to quote Chick Hearn. And the second half, the Aztecs build a 10-point lead, lose the 10-point lead, but they don't go into overtime defeated. They hold on and survive a buzzer-beating shot that would have sent it into a second overtime. It, it, it is just crazy. It's nail-biting stuff here. Where are KFMB Aztec alumni who are there with you? Are they doing okay? Lou and Todd, we saw <laughs> we saw and heard from them in your your interviews there. Yes, Lou and Todd are doing, and it's funny we just happened upon those guys. Yeah, and they didn't have the hoarse voices that the other guy had. I'm questioning how much they're really rooting for the Aztecs like they should. Oh, be. they better bring it tonight. They're, That's they're, for they're sure. older guys. They're pacing. That's themselves. right. All right. Thanks, John. <laughs> we'll see you later. Somebody sent John a paper bag to breathe in and out of. These are going to be some close games. So does it, don't pass out, John. Yeah. Don't pass Hang out. Hang in Got there. work to do.